Hey, hey everybody, Floke here, back for another episode of the Paper Mario 64. So yeah, as last time, we defeated Red and Blue Goomba, as well as got a couple of badges and returned the key item to Goombaria, I believe. And uh, we also got the party member, Goombario. Yeah. yeah, a little interesting. And uh, this episode, we're going to hopefully make it down to Toe Town and see what's going on at the Star Summit. So yeah, let's just keep, let's just go. <laughs> oh, that was funny. There we go. Oh, another mushroom. But it's a Goomba. Oh, that was shocking. Well, oh, he's gone. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Well, let's head on ahead. Whoa. Pretty, uh, pretty big castle. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Sissies! Now here we are. Hey look, Mario, see that building over there? Pretty sure that used there used to be a bridge on the other side. Wonder what happened to it. <laughs> so Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get, because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see. To it that you advance no further. You hear that, Mario? No further. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? Bah ha ha. Yeah, you're right. All right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for the, for you though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready for my wrath, Mario? So, here we have the first boss fight. Beat him up, King Goomba. So, uh, after tattling the first fight, uh, Red and Blue Goomba are at 3 HP, and uh, using the tattle ability, we can see King Goomba. This is King Goomba. He has 10 HP, 1 power, and 0 defense. So, uh, there's a few things we can do. So, uh, first turn, what I'm going to do is actually use a fire flower fire flower on all three of these enemies will deal three damage each taking out two of them in the process and uh, he does that little uh, shrub attack so uh, what you're actually gonna want to do is instead of attacking the Goomba King attack the Goom nut tree that falling on his head will deal three damage And uh, I think you can only use it once, unfortunately. I tried to use it again, but it didn't seem to work. So, using a power jump, and then a head bonk, we'll take care of him, and we get 30 star points, so many, and we get a level up. So, we have three things to level up, HP, FP, BP. So, um, in this series, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the, the level ups are probably going to go towards these two, as uh, if you just play smart, you don't really need health points as much. But uh, that does not excuse the fact that we will need to do it later. But uh, for now, I'm going to do FP because uh, FP is really useful. How could I lose? So they all run away because they're all sissies. Yeah, I knew we can do it. Cool victory. Yeah. So. Get a nice easy victory there. And he's kind of just sitting inside there. Um, <laughs> by uh, hitting that bush. You can get that. Red Goomba, you're positive that you hit this switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba, I hit it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the... You idiot! You didn't hide it in here! Oh, did you, th did you think you might be right? King Goomba, maybe we ought to try to trick Mario. So, uh, yeah. 
Uh, by hitting this tree, you get a star piece. I don't know what it is. It's a little laggy. But, just hitting the switch. Uh, Mario, good fight! And, uh, all that. I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely avoid pressing it. It's dangerous, understand? What? You already pressed it! Oh, no! Off comes the roof. And, uh, down, down goes the fortress. <laughs> And there we have it, a brand new bridge. So now we can get across. So in through we go. Um, you can't fall off. So uh, I'm not gonna check all pieces of grass. I am gonna try and check as many as I can though. Looks like Amy Koopa saw the whole thing. Funny. Save and quit. Sa save and continue. Save and quit. Continue without saving. So I'm going to save and continue. And here we have the castle. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report, your evilness. Mario defeated Goomba King. He's heading for Toe Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used a star rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. <laughs> Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please. Your, vil your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is a small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It does not matter, because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good, guahaha. By the way, Kimmy Koopa, those star spirits we, we captured, don't they have anything, uh, don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself, each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's as close to star spirit to Mario? It's in that one at the Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! Here comes the Koopa Bros! Uh-huh. Oh yeah! We're the coolest of the cool! <laughs> Kimmy Koopa, are you sure these guys could get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and he and even he couldn't beat Mario. Psh, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Koomba Goomba, Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimple wimpola. <laughs> We're nothing like him. See, we've got <laughs> We've got on is the power of teamwork. Together we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. The spirit sells it. Koopa Bros, show our king the special attack you so do. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Uh, oh! Th this is. Oh! How you like it? King Bowser, was it cool? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Really? I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, Miss my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding it right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard the star spirit! <laughs> eh, some, uh, idiots. So, here we go. Back into the... Oh, there we go. Back to Toe Town. So, here we have a sleepy sheep. Puts enemies to sleep if you use it in battle. And, here we go. Here's the entrance to Toe Town. 
Mario! I'm so glad you're okay! The town is in an uproar. The princess is kidnapped, the very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Alright, well, see what I can do, I guess. So, um, tons of stuff to do in Toad Town. Hey, Mario, did you know that you can carry up to 10 items? When you can't carry any more, it's a good idea to go to shops and ask them to hold items. So, there's a bunch of really cool and interesting stuff. So, we got a sleepy sheep, fruit jar, pow block, fire flower, honey syrup, and a mushroom. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a mushroom, I'm going to buy a honey syrup, and then I'm going to leave. So, there's uh, quite a bit that you can do. Well, not quite, quite a bit. But, uh, there are uh, stuff that you can do in this current state. Um, but we are going to have to set, uh, hand our, send our way to Star Road. And, uh, we also got these two cool-looking guys over here. Above us is the top floor. There is a dojo. We are here always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which the dojo is closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Our master is wandering. The world of... The world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He is going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here. Until our master returns, waiting is part of our training. Eh, they're, uh, they're interesting. So, here in the main section of Toad Town, tons of toads wandering around, not knowing what to do. So, we have a giant stargate over there. We have a uh, group of... Uh, Weird toads. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope. No go. Sorry, but no. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to head up to the uh, castle. Wow. Well, good to know the castle's still not there. <laughs> so... On this way, we have a bunch of shooting stars. Now, shooting star summit. So, up here we go. Um, there's a sign down here. Looking for something. Drop by. Mur... 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 Murlu... Vlees? Murlu Vlees? Uh, okay. Um... We'll be uh, we'll be looking at that a little bit later. Not just yet. I want to see. I think there might be an item around over here. Oh, what a bait! Oh, just jumping up. So a giant swirly mountain with. Someone at the top. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people for our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful heaven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod, it, it's powerful beyond belief. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want the Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, he wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. So enough, though. I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is responsible of the seven star spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. 
We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits reunite in star heaven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over great distances, but even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save the princess, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last help, and we will. Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. So, I'll save and continue again. Sniffle. Mario's probably hurt. Everybody's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things keep going the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Wahaha, my dear princess, how are things going on this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah. Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us, Koopas, over the years. If you know, if you know, want anything, all you need is to ask me. I can grant wishes. Of course, I only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. Take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause any trouble. Blehehe. Oh, please. If only somebody could help me. Huh? Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know? Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could come and help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take the Star Wars back from Bowser. Think you can do it? Uh. Uh, sorry. That's a little much for for a novice, novice star. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star... Can grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please, ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as I can. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up here to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also please tell Mario that? I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him exact your exact words, Princess. Definitely. Now, don't despair. 
I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return. Mario, where are you? <laughs> the slide whistle ruined it. So, back down at the bottom of the Star Haven. We go. Ouch! Oh, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, yeah, here it is. Take it. You got it, the lucky star. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on. Fine, Mario. Would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. So, here we go. First, Mario. Choose the jump attack. So, on Goombario, press A right before landing. Once you decided on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. So, right before, by doing an action command, well, you see a nice appears. It means you successfully used the action command. When you do it, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Right now, press A just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully use the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, you'll have to use some different techniques to make use of action commands. It depends on the attack. Try using the hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, Mario, move the control stick. Flash reaches. That's when you let go. All right, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and the outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit. No! <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's the action commands I was uh, trying to talk about. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be even tougher in battle now. Here you go! What? It can't be! Were you following me? What? A foolish star! I knew that I followed. if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'll tell Kim and Kimmy Koopa, and she'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. So, now we have to use the action commands in battle. So, using Goombario, we can tattle. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. 8 HP, attack power of 3. Mario, magic attacks are no joke. You better take this guy seriously. I sure will. So... I messed up the action command. I messed up that one too. So, with that one, the action command does 4 damage and will take him off the room in there. Uh, action commands also work with partners, so Goombario has an action command. 15 star points. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's sides. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you you have a message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes. Back to Bowser's Castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario. Let's get down to business. So, going right back into Toad Town. Uh, I'm actually going to end the episode. We figured out how to do it. Oh, Mario. Merlone was looking for you. He's in the house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you where to go. 
All right. Um, irregardless, uh, I'm going to be ending out the episode here. It was a pretty nice episode. Able to get to the Star Summit Haven, as well as learn the action command and figure out what we need to do and where we need to go. So, next time, we're going to go to Merlin's house with a spinning roof, just like I was doing there, and hopefully make our way to the Koopa Bros Fortress to try and get the first star spirit saved. But that'll be next time, so I'll see you guys then.